Hey guys! Alright, so I know I have not made a video in a while, um, but today I'm going to be making one and I'm hoping since it's summer I'll finally be able to make some videos and get a lot more videos up and kind of branch out my uh, channel a little bit more. So today I have uh, kind of like a lip gloss collection slash review. Basically I'm going to show you all the different kinds of lip glosses that I have and hopefully give you some of the pros and cons of each kind. I have a lot of lip gloss, so I'm going to try to do it as quickly as I can, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start, um, this is in no particular order, I'm just kind of going around how I have it all set up. I have them grouped by brand. So the first one I have is these four lip glosses, and these ones are from Forever 21, so they're the Love and Beauty collection. These ones um, are like the top with the wand in them, which I'm not totally, I don't, I don't love these. I kind of like the squeeze tubes because these ones I feel like you can't get all the product out. Um, once you get low, it's really hard to work with. Um, so, but these colors are super pretty, and I love them. This one's just like, like a clear, sparkly one. This one's like a darker, hot pink. This one's like a nude pink, and this one's like a baby pink. And they're really pretty colors, and they look really nice on, but they're kind of sticky. Um, but the colors are gorgeous, and they're really super sparkly, but not too over the top. Okay, these next ones are from e.l.f. I haven't used these ones in a long time, but um, from what I remember, they're, they're great colors. The pigments are really nice, but they are kind of sticky. Um, I don't mind sticky lip glosses. I know a lot of people do, so it's just kind of like a little forewarning. Um, so this one's called Miami, and this one's like a darker pink. Um, this one is called Nashville, and it's like a nude color, and this one's actually my favorite. And then this one is called Boston, and this one I probably sell the most of because I really didn't use this one that much because the color isn't really my color. Okay, the next ones, I love these ones. These ones are awesome, and I haven't used them in a long time. And literally when I was pulling them out of my lip gloss container, I was like, I completely forgot about these. I love them. Um, and they're the C.O. Bigelow um, Menthol Lip Shine, and you can get these. I think you can still get them at Bath & Body Works. And I love these. This one is menta, vanilla mint, and spearmint. And I think the spearmint was my favorite. I think it was this blue one. But all of it, they're so cool. They're not sticky at all. They're, they're going really nicely. And they leave your lips feeling really cool and minty. It's, it's, it's awesome. I don't know how to describe it. Anyways, but it's awesome. This one I ran out of a long time ago, but I've always kept it. So whenever I talk about lip glosses, I can show you guys because I loved this stuff. And I don't know why I haven't bought more of it. There's probably still a little bit in here that I could actually get out. Like I said, the wand's really annoying because you can't get everything out. And this one is called um, Tickled Pink. And it's the Wet Slicks cover. It's a cover girl. Wet Slicks Amazement. And so they smell like mint. And when they go on, they have that tingly mint. And this smells exactly like Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Like, exactly like Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. It's, like, ridiculous. Okay, and then this one, these are, oh, these are just the oddball ones. Everyone else, I have, like, multiples of these one, These three are, like, the oddballs. So the last kind of, like, odd one I have is the NYC New York Color um, Extreme Lip Glide or Lip Gloss. And this is in um, Park Avenue Pink. I love this stuff. This stuff is what I have on now. Actually, I have on um, the Lady Gaga um, Viva Glam lipstick from MAC, and it's the first one, not the new one. And then I have this over it, and I love this stuff. It's not sticky. It goes on really nicely. It's really pretty, and yeah, I love it. And they, I know they have a bunch of different colors, and these things are like a dollar. They're maybe like three dollars, and they're either a dollar or three dollars, I don't remember. But these things are awesome. And I don't know why I only have one of them. Don't ask me. Okay. Um, also, oh, these are from NYC also. And these are their liquid lip shines. These also had names, but they were on the packaging and not on the actual thing. And I remember this one. I think this was... Well, I don't remember. But this one, it's 558. Um, and it is this gorgeous, like, frosty baby pink color. And here yeah, I'll do a swatch of it because that's it's just it's awesome. I love this stuff, and I love wearing it. And it makes my lips look so frosty and pretty pink. It's awesome. And then um, this one I think it was called Ruby Red. It's in five five six, 
and it is literally just like the ruby red slippers from the Wizard of Oz, and it is so pretty. It's actually, it's not it's not as opaque, but it is so pretty. If you want a really nice playful red lip, this stuff is it's awesome. So okay. I have like two more things left. Okay. So these ones are the CoverGirl Wet Flix Fruit Spritzers, and these things I absolutely loved when I first bought them. I bought one of them, which was, I want to say this one or this one, I'm not sure. I actually have more, I just don't know where they are. Um, I think I have like five total. And these things I was in love with, they smell amazing because they're all like fruit scented. So this one is Papaya Splash. This one is Berry Splash, and this one is Guava Splash. I probably use Guava, I, pro I think I bought this one first because I love Guava scented things. Now the issue with these is that one, over time, they get sticky. So when I first bought them, they were perfectly fine, and now when I wear them, they're slightly sticky. Not too terrible, but enough, it's kind of annoying. And they separate. They actually separate from clear gloss and like glittery gloss. But if you're willing to really wear them, and they smell phenomenal, and, and they're the gorgeous. The final colors. product I'm going to talk about is the one I have the most of, and they are the Liplicious lip glosses that you can get Bad really, really body with. This one, the Summer Vanilla's Lemon, is super, it's got like glitter in it, and it makes your lips really sparkly. Um, it's not too over the top, but it's, if you're going and doing something kind of professional, it's kind of a little bit much, um, but it's sheer other than that. This one, um, the sparkles are kind of visible. There's like pink and purple sparkles in it, and it looks really pretty, but it doesn't look purple on your lips. It's not like dark purple. It's like sheer, because it says sheer on it. This one is pretty much one of my favorites. I hated the P.S. I Love You, like the lotion, the whole collection. I did not like the scent of it at all. Um, I, a lot of my friends, all of my friends loved it, and I was just like, eh, I don't really like it. Um, but I love this. This stuff smells amazing. This one is in my purse at all times, and I use it a lot. Um, the Orange Kiss, I'm, I'm sure it smells great. I've never used it, though. I want, I, the color pigmentation is usually, um, really subtle, so it looks really nice on your lips. Um, Watermelon Sorbet smells really good. Um, again, I don't really use this one much. Pink Grapefruit is my all-time favorite. This stuff smells, like, so amazing. Like, oh, I love it. Um, and so I wear this one a lot. Um, and then Cherry Gelato. I was really hoping this would come out like with a tinge of red, but it really doesn't. It's, it's pretty sheer. Um, and it, I don't really like the, I think this is the one I don't like the smell. Yeah, I don't like the smell of this. It smells like that disgusting cherry medicine that we are all very familiar with. And then this like one it. is Fruit Punch, and I'm pretty sure this one smells good too. No, this one, this one smells okay. It's like a cross between that and something else, so it doesn't smell too terrible. And this is the one I'll, I'll still use, even though it kind of has that hint of bad smell on it. But, yeah, so I, that's it. So, yeah, that is my lip gloss collection. As you can see, it's pretty much all drugstore. I don't know if you would consider, um, well, Forever 21 isn't drugstore, and neither is Bath and Body Works, but, you know. So, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like this video. Please leave me comments below and let me know what kind of lip glosses you guys like, um, what lip glosses are the best. If you've tried any of these, what you think of them. And, yeah, that's it. Have a fantastic day, and I will hopefully have more videos to come. Bye! Oh, and real quick, I wanted to show you guys the container that I store my lip glosses in because I know I'm always looking for different ways to store my things and um, a lot better ways to store my things instead of using up space in like, the drawers that I have. And so I have this little takeout container and it's really cute. It's adorable. I got like a Christmas present or something in here. And so I put all my lip glosses in there. I hope you can see them. I don't know. And I put them in there and it's really easy because I can see them all from the top and I can just grab the one I want. And, I don't know, I really love the way I have them stored. Um, so yeah, just wanted to show you guys that real quick.